John Bona here with the story of liberty. Tyrants have existed from the beginning of time. When we look at the Roman Empire, we look at a tyrant named Diocletian. He was the Roman Emperor from 284 to 305. He was born into a family of low status in the Roman Empire, and he rose through the ranks of the military to become a cavalry commander to the emperor. When he became emperor himself, he ordered destruction of all the places of Christian worship and the burning of all Christian books. Christians were to be liable to torture and were denied all civil rights. In 284, there were actually two emperors ruling. An emperor, Diocletian, inaugurated an empire-wide persecution, which was being carried out all the way to the east. He took the 6,000 people he knew to be Christians, and he marched them into France, and he told them that he wanted them to bow down and worship the image of the emperor. When the leaders of the Christian legion denied and they said, we know what you're asking of us, you're asking us to do the impossible. These Christian captains of the squads actually wrote a declaration of independence, which sounds very much like our own declaration of independence. And they stood against that emperor just as the emperor stood against God. In it, they basically said, we're your finest soldiers and we will obey you, emperor, but we will not kill our fellow believers. We will not worship nor defame our God. Well, the result, of course, is that the emperor sent 60,000 men into the valley and he had them take their heads off one by one as they stood in line. First it was one out of every ten men. And then he asked them again if they would like to obey and pay homage to fame their God. And they said, no, we will not do that. They refused. And so he did it again until they were down to less than half of their people. They still refused. The Christians would not give in. And he simply went in and killed all the rest of the men. Those men may have died that day, but not more than a few years later, both of those emperors were out, and another emperor from England named Constantine came in. As he went into battle outside of Rome, he saw a cross of light. That sight caused him to determined that his mother must have been right all along, that Jesus was Lord. Because of this, Constantine made Christianity the religion of the empire, and he ended the persecution of Christians forever. The sons and daughters of the Christian legion, because of the sacrifice of their fathers, were able to grow up in liberty understanding the gospel and without dying for it.